Hi guys. So I'm back and my voice is back. Well, sort of. It's a lot better than it was before. There's actually sound coming out of my mouth now, so I'm excited about that. And also, I want to thank you guys for the wonderful comments that you put on my last video. Wish me well and all that stuff. And that made me very happy to um, to read those. Um, but as promised, I am back and I'm here to give you guys a review on Emily Giffen's Something Borrowed. Or Something Blue, I'm sorry. Something Blue, which is a sequel to um, Something Borrowed. Get it? Something Borrowed, Something Blue. It's cute, right? Um, but anyway, Something Blue was told, or is told through Darcy's point of view. Um, and um, Darcy is Rachel's best friend if you've read uh, Something Borrowed. I'm going to try to do this video without any spoilers, just in case you guys just wanted to get a gist of what Something Blue is about. Um, because... Um, it's a continuation of Something Borrowed, and if you haven't read Something Borrowed, then I don't want to spoil, you know, what, what all that goes on in here, because there's a lot that goes on. You guys should really pick this up if you haven't already. Um, but pretty much, I was really excited to read about, or to read from Darcy's point of view, because in her, in the first book, she was such an outgoing and confident and crazy kind of girl. I thought it would be very interesting to read from, you know, or to get things from her whole point of view on life and all that stuff um but the great and good things about this book is that it actually has a theme and the theme is what what I thought the theme was was uh true love and true friendship and what they can do to change a person because if you don't know Darcy's character she is she is very selfish and um spoiled uh overbearing and she gets everything that she wants. Um, and from reading this book, I, I mean, I really liked her, her character in the first book. But from reading this, she, I've, I've come to the conclusion that Darcy is insane. She is a crazy, something is seriously wrong with this woman because uh, in the first uh, hundred or so pages, her, her character is horrible. She goes to great lengths to get whatever she wants. She will lie, cheat, and steal to... Um, to just just uh, keep that appearance of you know that whole glamorous fabulous kind of kind of thing and she she she's she's done some pretty pretty bad things um, but the thing that I kind of didn't like about this book just about how the book was written was that the first 60 or so pages was a total recap of something borrowed and I know a lot of sequels do that anyway um, they'll just um, for the first uh, 100 pages of the book they'll recap the last book just in, I don't know why they do that I guess to refresh your memory or something but I was really annoyed by that and it was all through Darcy's point of view and I'm like look I know what happened okay we don't have to go through this again but finally after those after page almost literally page 60 the the story picked up and um and it finally got on with Darcy's life um but back to the theme of this book which is true friendship and true love um it, uh, the way Emily Giffen tied that whole thing in is that true love and true friendship can really change a person. And my Darcy's, and with Darcy's character, she needed something to change her. Whether it was her being hit by a bus and being handicapped for the rest of her life or being um, terminally ill, something. Something had to happen to this girl to, to change her whole mindset. And that's what ended up happening to her was she found true love and she learned to realize true friendship. So without too many spoilers, I wish I could tell you guys everything about this book. You know what? You can inbox me if you want to know more about this book because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But um, but this was a wonderful read after the first 60 pages. Um, and it made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside because of the things that Darcy endures and the things that she has to realize as a person. You can't get everything you want. And um, and if you read, I feel like if you read this book, you can probably recognize some things in yourself and realize, hey, sometimes, you know, you're going to have to suck it up in life and um, learn to accept things as they are and to be a better person and um, all that great stuff. So this is definitely funny because it was told through Darcy's point of view and I would definitely recommend it after reading Something Borrowed, which was equally funny. And I will give this book a rating of four shining stars and um, I'm really glad I read it. So Emily Giffen, you have done it again. And um, 
again, I feel like she's a great author. I haven't read a book by her that I haven't liked yet. So um, I would recommend her as an author um, to check out in general. I'm still reading Linger by Maggie Stifler. I'll be done with that probably within the next two days or so. And I'll have a review up for that as well. But until then, I will see you guys later. Bye.